So another day and another TikTok recipe time. And you all appreciated the honey garlic chicken that I kind of followed through, gave my thoughts on and reproduced to let you know if that recipe is worth trying or not, if I recommend it. And today, something that was forwarded to me was a butter chicken burrito. So I have some videos over here, some popular ones, some not so popular ones, and a lot of them that are just copycats of each other, seems like. So let's watch one of them. The tastiest high protein butter chicken burritos. If there's one meal prep I can never get sick of, it's definitely this. Grab your dust. Now, of course, this sounds awesome. I love butter chicken, of course. And um, I know it's a tortilla, it's not naan, but it's white bread. So it's gonna be close to a naan rather than having a whole wheat sort of tortilla. Cause personally, I cannot stand something creamy and rich like butter chicken with whole wheat kind of bread. I know it's weird cause there's things like lacha baranda, which usually people have with butter chicken, but I'm just a fan of white bread with the creamy, buttery dish like butter chicken. Chicken breast and add the seasonings which will be listed on the screen and in- Now, he's using all chicken breast. Um, I'm not gonna do that. And I'll tell you why later. And the seasonings, I don't know why we're using smoked paprika here. Um, I don't think we use smoked paprika ever in India. And I think maybe there's misconceptions of what Indian spices are, or let's just, wa let just watch them. We'll see. The description. Then add some garlic, ginger. Never turmeric. You never, you never put turmeric in a butter chicken. I've never seen that, never tasted it. And I've had butter chicken all my life. Greek yogurt, yogurt and mix and it all together. together. To a pan on high, high heat, add light butter, butter sliced onions, onions, cashew, cashew nut, nut butter. Or... No, okay, okay. So what I have a bigger issue with are the onions. Onions are a big no-no for butter chicken. Whenever you see a butter chicken recipe that claims to be the best butter chicken, onions should not be a part of them. A traditional butter chicken sauce is called a makhani sauce and it's made with butter, cream, and tomatoes. That's it. Of course, the ginger garlic, but no onions ever. Cashew nut butter or regular cashew nuts, a can of diced tomatoes, and the same seasonings as before. Add a okay, I do not like the fact that we're using the same seasonings, the same amount. Um, and, and to me, honestly, it just seems like an assortment of what's simplified an oversimplified version of indian cooking um just use the same amount for the chicken as you are for the sauce easy peasy uh what are indian spices as turmeric garam masala smoked paprika no <laughs> um okay it's not gonna taste like the real thing i'm telling you that already Add a little bit more yogurt, mix it all together, and then transfer it to a blender cup and blend until nice and smooth. Now cook the chicken on high heat, and once it's cooked, add the sauce, mix and simmer on low heat for a few minutes. Now grab four low calorie tortillas. I would much rather have the chicken get some color rather than it's just boiling in its own marinade, but okay. Add cooked rice and evenly distribute the butter chicken across them with some coriander on top. Roll them, toast them, wrap them up, add them to the fridge or freezer and reheat when they're ready to eat. I mean like, if you've never had Indian food and you want to know what it's like, this may give you an idea. Let's watch a more popular one. This one had, this one has 4.4 million likes. Let's take a look. Thighs. Love it. Thighs are awesome. Now, I think we always get the chili powder wrong um, because we never get that right color. And then we do see the super red bright color, it's fake because it's food coloring. I think we just need to let the world know that there are spices that are natural that give that bright red color, such as this guy right here, Deggy Merch. Again, onions, butter chicken. Now, you wanna, if you want more flavor, you would put the cashews in with your oil. So you get to lightly roast it 
with the ginger and garlic. Um, it's fine. You just put it in the tomatoes like that. But I'm always for what can we do to get more flavor into our dish. I think that was milk or maybe like half enough cream. Perfect. Much better than adding yogurt. Like in the last recipe, this is going to be a much better texture, I think. Rice, perfect. I believe that was yogurt, I think. Nice. Okay, that's it. Now there are other videos um, and a lot of them follow the same structure as the first TikTok we saw. This one is the only original one that I could find because I don't want to spend all day doing it. <laughs> and uh, basically the rest are copying the first one where the generic four Indian spices and you just dump the same amount of the marinade as the sauce and it just seems lazy, copycat and not authentic in any way. I really like the second one. Um, it's getting much closer to what it should be. So we'll see how to do it the right way. So what we have here are a combo of Thais and chicken breast. Balance I think is important and you can only have just chicken breast for so long. I'm dicing it up, tossing it in a bowl, lemon juice, that good red spicy stuff, yogurt, salt, and garam masala. Mix it up, but don't forget the ginger garlic paste. That is key. Then, melt the butter for the sauce, add mace and green cardamom to build the base flavors along with ginger and garlic paste. Once this is fragrant and getting brown, add the cashews. Saute them lightly, then soon after add the posada. Get that bubbling. You see that? Now, add some more of that red stuff and salt and cook this down. Move all the chicken to a baking sheet with a wire rack and broil the chicken until it's lightly brown and cooked. Puree the sauce until smooth and work it through a sieve until you have a smooth sauce. Then add your honey, kasuri methi, garam masala and light cream. You can even add milk if you want to make it super light, but you go over 10% if you can. Mix that and then add the cooked chicken. Taste it and enjoy what we just put together. An authentic deli style butter chicken. For the rice, I'm making a bunch of my Dira rice recipe. Super fragrant and it's all linked down below. Then let's get on that burrito game. So make sure you get that tortilla warmed up. Add some of the rice down the middle. Butter chicken on the top as much as you want, honestly. And then cilantro chopped up. You can add cheese here if you want as well. Something creamy and uh, melty like a Monterey Jack would go perfect with this, I think. Then roll it up envelope style. Fold the sides, spread the toppings evenly, and then fold it halfway. Pull back to get all the toppings in its place and then roll tightly to seal. So you want to then roast this on a pan lightly seam side down first and then on the other side just to make sure it gets all warmed up inside tortilla is nicely toasted and wouldn't you want to take a bite of this who can resist this butter chicken burrito is bliss and no i'm not talking about love is blind comment down below if you want to see more tiktok reviews and tryouts and if you enjoyed this fusion butter chicken recipe. You're gonna love my butter chicken mac and cheese. See ya.